Let's go ahead and uh, see the table in action. So here is the simple text table uh, that is present within the tab view. So what we can do is maybe simply I'll just uh, select sales and select the uh, regions for example and within the show me say text table. So here I have the, the sales by each region. Very simple. There is nothing interesting. But uh, let's go ahead and make it a pivot. So maybe by product subcategory, I want to change it. So this information is showing us the subcategory. If you want to swap it so that a better representation is coming, we can do this by clicking over here, swap rows and columns or pressing Control W as a shortcut. So once we click here, I think it is a much better representation of information and that basically helps us, uh, these experiments help us realizing what, which way is really good to show the metric. Now let's try enhancing it with the help of the colors, uh, colors card. So maybe we want to see the, this information conditionally formatted, like how we do it in Microsoft Excel, wherever, you know, uh, there is a good value or the negative value or the less value, we want to show it conditionally or conditionally colored. So for example, profit, I put it on the color. And as you can see, if I show you over here, the negative one generally indicates is the less or the problematic area where you have the less sales. So here in this case, it is very much apparent that it is solid red and uh, your profit is really low over here as or negative here. And as compared to the blue like this, so copiers within the central region is, is really the profitable one. Same is the case with West. So very intuitively, uh, you can get the details about where you are doing a good profit or not. Uh, you can change it to anything else like discount, just drag and drop. And you can get the information about where you are giving their very good discount. So for example, in the binders, in each region you are giving good discount so that means this is a category which i think is struggling and that's why probably you know salesperson has to do a or give a lot of discount so that's how you can very easily and very quickly create the tables uh, the tax tables within the tab view couple of other things that you generally want to do is adding sections so let's say within the subcategory you want to add product name though so in that case you just have to add the product name probably you can say add all members because there are like a lot of lot of members so that's why a warning was given to you i just selected i want to add all the members and uh, if i want to add category i can add category before the subcategory to make it more sense that in each of the category what are the subcategories related subcategories so very easily uh, I can do that by just keep on dragging the information. If I want, uh, let's say profit also here as sum of profit, I can add it, but I need to add it to a text. So in that case, uh, there are basically two rows. One is indicating the sales, another indicating is the profit, but not very intuitive. So in that case, it's not really useful. You go ahead and uh, and show the both the dimensions so that's how very easily and quickly you can create the text tables the pivot tables and modify it as per your needs